Hello, this is Tov from Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can have that like Spider-Verse kind of feel in your animations on Blender by using the stylized shaders add-on. It's not only have to pay for, and it's a little bit pricey, it's like $40. Uh, but the good thing about it is that all future updates um, are free. I'm using an older version of it, and since then they've updated it to a lot more shaders, a lot more parameters, so that's pretty cool. I'm using 3.4 myself, but the latest, newest version of the add-on only works in 4.2. I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can download yourself and check it out. But the installation process is still the same. Uh, go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've downloaded the add-on onto your system. Click on Install Add-on, and then I'm going to type in Shaders myself, and then put a check in the box, and it's activated. And it's on the right-hand side of the UI, which is the toolbar. Let's expand that out. And it's right here. It's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice add-on. It makes... Um, this style of animation when it comes to looking like a 2d animation look a lot better and it's a lot easier to use uh, let's get rid of this cube let me press delete on my keyboard press shift a mesh click on monkey left click on that press one to have that frontal view and with suzanne selected i'm going to go to my um uh, modifiers click on the add modifier I'm going to go to Subdivision Surface, bring this up to 2, click on that drop down menu or arrow and click on Apply. Um, press W on my keyboard, actually left click and Shade Smooth. And there is Suzanne ready to be shaded with the stylized shader add-on. Now the cool thing about this add-on is that it helps you set up the world fairly easily. Because the whole concept of the add-on is to have you have it look like it's a 2D animation in a 3D world. So to get the background to simulate what we want on a piece of paper, the first thing we're going to do is change the render viewport. Click on that icon there. And it works best in Eevee. Some of the shaders do render in, in cycles, but they're, they all render better and best in Eevee. And click on World and Set World. And turns the whole background to white or a shade of white. I'm gonna click on my light there, press G to pull it to the front. You can see Suzanne a little bit better. And now we're gonna click on Suzanne and we're gonna start off with this shader right here, the default shader. So when you click on it, you have all these different shaders. So, like I said, mentioned before in the tutorial. Um, the shaders have increased, so there are a lot more shaders than this. I think this. Uh, has about 25 or so. The newer one has 55 plus shaders, so you have a, a lot of shaders to work with. We're going to click with the first one and click on the sign, and there you go. That's the shader, and it's just instant. Now, if you want to add like an outline to it, to the outskirts of your model or the outer part of the model, make, make it look like a pencil drawing, click on outline and add outline, and there you go. You can uh, adjust the thickness of the outline in here. I just left click a few times to make it thinner. Click to the right, make it thinner. A left, make it thicker. You can change the color of the outline, also click on that. Uh, the color wheel comes up. And we're going to make it a little bit lighter. You can make it lighter, change it to blue, green, red, yellow. Let's stick with the red. And you have that nice look to it. And no matter how you pivot, in your viewport by holding on your middle mouse button and moving your mouse around the shader always has that frontal view of the uh, aspect of it to make it look like it's a drawing all the time which is cool now for the shader itself you have all these parameters here uh, let's click on another one let's click on let's say this one that looks pretty cool click on the sign and now it's changed its color to match the shader. You can change the way the shader looks. All these parameters are to change the color of your shader. 
and they all work great. You click on any one of them. They all have the same uh, settings. Some have more parameters to change than others, but for the most part, they're all customizable. So it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's a pretty straightforward uh, add-on, easy to use, easy to work with. Now, one thing I didn't want to do, which is what I always do, is I always test to see how the shader works on an imported um, model that's not made in Blender. This is Suzanne, obviously she's made in Blender, so obviously the add-on is going to work. But let's test it to see if it works on an object or model that's not made in Blender. I've already have a scene set up for that. I'm going to go with File. I'm going to go to, to Recent, and I've had this already set up as I mentioned before. Don't save. Now this character I got from iClone. I'm pressing on my keyboard. We're going to see how this looks. An EV. Click on that. And we have this character already textured. And the good thing about the add-on also, whether your model is textured or not textured, it still works. It still spreads the textures or the shaders evenly around your model if it's UV unwrapped or not unwrapped. So let me see. Let's go down to the add-on here. And let's click on, let's click on, let's say this one and press the sign. Let's see if it's going to apply this shader to our model. Click on the sign. And it kind of does it. Oh, it actually does it pretty good. Oh, yeah, it does. Let's click on another one. Let's see what it looks like with, um, let's say this one. A sign again. Oh, it does work. So, yeah, so the add on does work with models that aren't made in Blender, that, that have been imported from outside of Blender. So that's a, that's a plus. So yeah, this is the Stylized Shaders add-on uh, for Blender 4.2 only. Um, like I said, it has free updates once you've purchased it. So download yourself and check it out. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.